What's up everyone? Welcome back with more from Baldur's Gate 3 where right now we will enter uh, I mean exit, yeah enter We will enter the camp um, but we will exit Astral Prism uh, But uh, before I will just uh, look around what we can pick And I guess we will have to speak with our companions about what just happened uh, For sure with Lazel And I hope we will be in the camp and then we can go to Baldur's Gate So remember to give all the support and with smashing the subscribe button which is greatly appreciated and let's uh, start with, yeah, um, checking out the body of this crazy lady over here that was attacking with those fists. Like she was some kind of a monk, I guess. Yeah. Oh. Boots of unhibited Kushigo. Nice. So this is another uh, piece of gear uh, of Kushigo set. So the wearer deals additional damage equal to their wisdom modifier with unarmed strikes. Which is fantastic. If I had some uh, monk in my team, then I would use it, but I do not have it. <laughs> I do not have any monk here, so that's crazy. What was that here? Divine Bone Shard. Oh, that's a very rare ingredient. Nice, let's pick it up. Okay. There is nothing further I can do for you right now. Consider using my gift. Okay, thank you so much. I will consider to use your gift. But now I need to... Oh. Inscribe Git Yankee Slate. Okay. Let's check that. Alright. Uh, probably Lazelle will have nothing to say about that one, but... For sure she will have something to say about Orpheus here. Because Orpheus is right here in this Astral Prism. Captured. <laughs> the orb hums with cerebral magic. Permeable, but impenetrable. Within it, the Githyanki Prince is as silent as a corpse. But for the murmur of his powers being siphoned away. Yes, and his powers are very good because he is protecting us uh, from becoming uh, a Mind Flayer. So, wow. I don't know what will happen later, but for now it's... It's good. Are you sure you want to leave? Of course I am. Why not? We did what we could. What we have to. Oh my. Why they are dead? Who killed them? They have nothing. Already somebody took everything from them. Maybe my other companions killed them? I don't know. A long day. I need to rest soon. Yeah, of course we have to rest. Let's speak with the dinosaur first. <laughs> so your mysterious artifact, tamer of parasites, is only another parasite itself. How do you feel? Knowing the cost of keeping your transformation at bay. No, how do I feel? The Emperor was an adventurer like us, a protector of the city. That has to count for something, right? Yeah. No notions of heroism put you above human failings. I should know. I've had my share of songs written about me. <laughs> Illithids are monstrous creatures. But, in the end, they are only that. Creatures. And if it can, a parasite will keep its host fat, happy and safe. Until it is finished feeding, at least. Am I comforting you? I am not comforting myself. Use the Emperor as it would use you. Or discard it. My days of doubting you are done. Yeah, we can use him, definitely. Mm, okay, let's leave. And let's see now again if she will say something else. Or... Well, are we ready for the road once more? Or maybe we can ask her something. Oh, no, okay. So let's go. Um, We can uh, speak with who? With the Starion I see there? And, oh, only? Oh my god. Those two are dead over here as well. 
There's nobody else. Mm, Lazelle is not here, I see. Maybe she's sleeping. Shadow Heart as well. Oh boy. Well, that's strange. And Carla, also not here. Oh my. That's crazy. Isabel and Night Song are missing. And even Withers is not here. Oh, right. I don't know. Maybe they are sleeping, really, because well, I don't know what else could happen to them. Uh, let's see what Astarion have to say. So, we owe our lack of tentacles to one of the very creatures that kidnapped us. And now it's offering us power if we're willing to evolve. Yes, exactly. So, yeah, I want to discuss uh, the astral touch tadpole with you. We both know what it is capable of, but I'm not touching it. Okay, why not? Yeah, why don't you want to use it? I remember how it hurt when I turned into a vampire. My body writhed and warped while I was utterly helpless. The grip of death owned my heart as it beat its last. I, I don't want to turn into anything else. I can't do that again. I can't watch my body be taken over. So don't ask me that again. Um, yeah, alright, I will speak no more on the matter with you. Yeah, let's do that. If we master the tuples, it will be different. But right now, that mastery depends on an elithid and its Githyanki slave. I'm not going to submit to this. Don't ask me again. Okay, understood. Yeah, sorry. God damn it. He is so angry. For even mentioning that. And Mentara? Oh, she want she wants to speak with something el about something else with me. As you approach Minthara, you feel her mind reaching out to yours, tentative and curious. Then it retreats, soft as a whisper. Sorry. Old habits. Okay. Why are you apologizing for? I did not ask permission. When we first met, I did not think we would ever share anything more than an uneasy alliance, born of our mutual enmity for the Absolute. I was wrong. A deeper bond has grown between us. I trust you. But I would like to touch your thoughts again. Now that my mind is my own. May I? You trust me? Wow. We know each other for, uh, what? A few days? <laughs> she already trusts me. That's nice. Uh, yes, you can, of course. You may, but only if I can see your thoughts as well. Of course. I do not hide anything from you. Until my time in the Cult of the Absolute, I had spent little time on the surface, except to raid and pillage. I did not expect to find any outside the Underdark who saw the world as I do, and wanted from the world what I want. I did not expect... you. And then here I am, and you showed me already... a lot. Like... Too much, even. <laughs> um, yeah, you're rather special yourself, Mentara. I have been told that I am special since my mother first held me in her arms. The burden of expectation. Before the Absolute, I lived a life of certainties. I knew that I was destined for greatness because I was born to it. I also knew that my inherited privilege came with a cost. That the bonds of fellowship and family could be broken by envy and ambition. I could not enjoy the taste of food for fear of poisoning, and I could not enjoy the company of lovers and friends because I feared they hid knives behind their smiles. In spite of the danger, I was happy. I knew myself, and I understood the world around me. Now, nothing is certain without Lolth. Without the Absolute, without my home, I do not know myself. But you do, I think. 
Show me myself through your eyes. Let me see what I am to you. Oh, you think I know you? Oh my god. I really don't. We just met. Oh boy. Um. Okay, yeah, open your mind. Let her in. She joins her thoughts with yours. And you are as one. You share in her strength of mind and formidable will. But also the doubts that eat at her conviction. Those doubts cluster in swarms. And the thickest is around her sense of self. She pushes past, revealing the image of her you hold in your mind. What does she see? Oh my, a lover. An ally, a friend, survivor, and or monster. Um, yeah. It would be nice to go with a lover, but we already... We already have a lover. We are with Karloch, so... Shit. <laughs> I cannot pick that, I guess. I don't know what will happen then with Karloch. Yeah, let, let's not check that, right? Uh, let's pick friends. Her mind cools. Acceptance is colored by disappointment. We need to trust one another if we are to survive. But I want more from you than that. I want all of you. Oh my. She want me. Um. Yeah, I want you too. But I cannot. I already have somebody else. Sorry. Now you can have me instead. Wow. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, she don't know when to quit, huh? Mm, so. No, I don't want to leave them. Yeah, I don't want to try that because uh, the trophy with uh, dating Carla is just too close. So, no. Mm, sorry. As you wish. It is a rare occasion when I do not get what I want. But you have shown your worth in many ways. I will be satisfied to have you as an ally. Alright, that's nice. I will take that and maybe uh, we can... Talk about this later? I don't know. You wish to consult me? I think. Oh, the Emperor has offered us a special tadpole. We will become partial mind flayers, but we will get great powers in return as well, so... We will need every advantage to survive the battles that are to come. And my illithid parasite has already shown its worth. If this superior tadpole is capable of unlocking my mind's full potential, it is a tempting proposition. I am surprised you have not drawn on its power yourself. Yeah, I am still thinking about it. Oh, and yeah, use it. Oh, I could give her this parasite now. No, perhaps i share it with you later, but not yet. As you should. When I am stronger... We are stronger. Okay. I understand. I mean, I yeah, I know. That's, uh... I guess that's good if it goes for, like, fighting, right? And being more powerful, but... Yeah, about the change that we will... That we will get as well? We will be changed? I don't know about that, so... For now, uh... Yeah, let's go to sleep. Uh, let's see what then, right? If something will happen uh, still in the night or not. I hope nothing more. Oh my god, sleeping with those dead bodies here. Ah, oh, shit. That's crazy. Alright, now we have... Okay, yes, we are having the day and everybody are here. Shadowheart want to speak with us, and uh, Lazel, and oh boy, that's great. I think, right? Okay, let's go with Lazel first. Your parasite communes with Lazel's. Her heart races as she learns of the events inside the astral prison. Orpheus, Gith's only son. He lives. It is not the Gaith visitor that Vlakith would destroy and Voss would set free. It is Orpheus, the blood of the mother, the prince of the comet. Yes, the same one. And, uh... 
Yeah, the blood of the mother. Who is he exactly? Listen close. The Emperor spoke only in half truths. For you to know the tale of Orpheus, you must know the tale of Gith and of Lacketh. Long ago, when we rose up against our gay slavers, Mother Gith made for the Hells to secure an alliance with the Archdevil Tiamat. Tiamat gifted the Githyanki our red dragons. Gith remained in the Hells, and Tiamat's envoy proclaimed Vlakith our ruler. The first Vlakith of many. It is Vlakith 157 whom my people now call Queen. What? One five s 157? Oh my god, that's a lot of Vlakiths. Yes. Our current queen has claimed undeath and reigned for a thousand years. But it was the first whom Orpheus tried to slay. Orpheus was, is, Gith's only son. He led his mother's own honor guard in a coup against Vlakith I. It was Kithrak Vos himself who slayed the prince in vicious battle. Or so the Varshis teach us. Yet the prince of the comet's been with us. Subdued by that repugnant illithid. Should Orpheus go free, he would tear Vlakith's empire to pieces and build new glory from the scraps. Yeah, that's for sure, but we should do that or... Yeah, because I don't know what then will happen, right? And yeah, what happens now, I guess, or... Then Voss was right. Orpheus is the seed of Lacky's dem demise. The seed and the sower. Every word Voss spoke, he spoke true. Orpheus is the living proof of the Queen's lies and the living weapon that conquered our Geich slavers. One word from his lips and the people would doubt. Two words and they would rage. Three words and they would bow to the true heir. If the Githyanki are to be free, the Prince of the Comet must lead the way. Alright. Oh, we can still talk about Orpheus. Let's go. What about him? Uh, I don't know. Why is he called the Prince of the Comet? The historical slates describe Orpheus as a fearsome, terrible creature. Powerful beyond measure and enthralled by the Geich. So mad with power, he'd smash through the Githyanki Empire and deliver the shards to his illithid masters. And glowing with such psionic force that he and his red dragon blazed a trail through the skies. A lethal comet careening towards my people. Lies, of course. Vlakith spread a false image of Orpheus as monstrous betrayer, and her knights as the butchers who sliced him through. She was right to fear him, I'll grant her that. So great is the comet, it could shatter her reign. Okay, so why did Vlakith keep Orpheus alive all those millennia ago? The Emperor may be loathsome, but it's right. Orpheus can disrupt a gay hive mind. A talent like that makes the prince a powerful shield and a powerful weapon. Why destroy a weapon like that when you can contain it in a relic and keep it for yourself? Exactly. And why would Vlakid want Orpheus dead now if he's so valuable alive? A weapon is only an asset for as long as it isn't pointed at you. The means of Vlakid's own end has been ripped away from her. Better to have Orpheus killed than to risk his escape. Better to risk the rise of Illithids than let the Prince of the Comet deny her the godhood she craves. Okay. And who were the hostile Githyanki and the Prism? Orpheus' honor guard, loyal to the end. Trapped by Vlakith in the same prism holding their noble prince. Fruitlessly hacking at the sphere that contains him. They see us as Geich, tadpoled husks in the Emperor's thrall. I regret their deaths, but I pledge to live as they perished, in the service of Gith's son. All right. On to other matters. Very well. I think about the tadpole. 
Have you thought about making use of the tadpole's power? Mark my words. This power would be no blessing, but a curse. You might as well ask me to gouge out my eyes for the promise of sight, or slice off my tongue for the promise of taste. Consume all the gate tadpoles you wish. I'm not so craven. Okay. I get it. Oh, persuasion. So if we must bear the tadpoles' burdens, we should also avail ourselves of their powers. Yeah. Whoa, a critical success. Are you kidding me? Perhaps you... No, that's absurd. When the tadpole has stretched to every pore and slithered through every vein, what am I to do then? It won't hear my screams. It won't care if I beg. I will be remade in its image. My own might will sustain me. I have no need of this depraved power. Oh my, we can persuade her even more? That's crazy. Why are we... Why should we... I don't know, we should do that? Why? God damn it, wait. Uh, okay, this cult of the absolute is dangerous and we should take all the help we can get. Let's pick this one. Oh my, 18. Let's add some bonus because this is a lot and... Uh, well, let's check that out. Whoa! I wanted to say maybe another critical success, but... Yeah, I... Would never think of that. You... You might be... The Githyanki have long studied gay Whoa, and what's what happening? Learned. The Zaythisk itself was devised for... The tadpole is perhaps not just a curse, but a weapon I can twist and mold. Very well. I will swallow my disgust and avail myself of the parasite's powers. Well, there's something strange, right? Let's leave for now, because something strange with the uh, with the conversation. I don't know why. I'm not sure what's going on. Oh, let's save. Maybe let's speak with Will now. Oh yeah, look at that. Love Whoa, this is so crazy. Look. Softer, less severe. It suits her. What about Shadowheart? What are you talking about? I need to reload that. I need to reload the game and quit it, I guess, because something is wrong here. Alright, oh, let's try to... Jesus, speak with her again. What is she doing here? Something is... Different about Shadowheart. New facial creases, perhaps. A fresh battle scar I hadn't noticed. Bah, it eludes me. What? What what new about Shadowheart? Oh boy, I will have to speak with her. And the Emperor's Astral Touch Tadpole promises exceptional power. It also promises to break us beyond repair. This ossified parasite does not make us more, but less. There will be ice where once there was fire. There will be a void where our souls once resided. Okay, I get it, yeah. It's not like that, Lizelle. Except the astral touched tadpole's power. You'll be unstoppable. Exactly. Let's promise her that. Alright, that's not bad. Let's see. Whoa, critical success again. Wow, we are lucky today. Lick. The Elder Brain. It could be the harbinger of the Grand Design and the doom of the Githyanki. The end time of the Sixteen Planes will be upon us, and the Astral will be the first to fall. Very well. I will accept what this damnable Gehrok has to offer. Yisk Githkar Tafki Krashet. Okay, so... We will be able to give her that tadpole, I guess. I don't know, I guess we can persuade everyone to take it. Love Shadowheart's new look. Softer, less severe. It suits her. What are you talking about? Jesus, I need to go speak with her. Because something happened there and I have no idea what. 
The Emperor promises incredible power if we're willing to pursue them. What do you think about that? Yes, and at a great cost, partial seromorphosis. I'm not about to make such a sacrifice. Not now, not ever. Not ever, okay. And the Sword Coast's future is at stake. We need to pursue this power. Will you say no to that? Wow, exactly. Nice. The coast is ever my priority. If you think we need this, very well. I will avail myself of the Astral Tadpole's powers. Okay. I mean, it's good to hear that. It's not like I will give it to you, but... Okay, now let's speak with Shadowheart, because they are talking about her, and I have no idea why. Let down, there's a light she's having. What is that? Why? So, there's been a mind flayer inside the artifact, or astral prism, the whole time we've had it. Sounds like utter madness, even though I've seen it with my own eyes. The more I learn, the less I understand just why I was sent to retrieve that thing. But it matters little now. I do not serve Shah anymore. Nor the Mother Superior. The prism is no longer my mission. Saving my parents is. But I digress. Did you want something? Yeah, of course I want something, but uh, wait a second. Let's take this helmet from your head, because that looks crazy. Oh, uh, wait, where is she? Here, yep, like that. And now we can go over here. Whoa, wait, wait, wait. No, uh, Jesus, okay. Oh my god. Uh, yeah. Hide during cutscenes, at least, okay. Let's speak with her again. Be honest. What do you think of the new look? Wow, I... I love it. Oh my god. What a surprise under the helmet, right? Jesus. Nice, I love it. Well, I'm glad someone does. Perhaps I'll get used to it. I have a lot to get used to right now. Wow, you look amazing. Alright, fantastic. Um... I think that special tadpole the Emperor offered will increase our chance of success. What do you think? More likely it would just put a stop to us. I wanted nothing to do with those illithid powers before. What makes you think I'd want to jump into an even deeper hole? You know what that offer truly entails, don't you? Become half a Mind Flayer. Lose half of yourself. I don't want that. Yeah, I don't want that either, but shit. I don't know if we have uh, any chance. Maybe on this difficulty we do have. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, trust me. We need these powers. And you're going to love what you can do with them. Well, okay. Let's try that. Yes, you will love those powers. Fine. I truly hope you're right about this. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Seriously. Um, Let's go to Jahira as well. I mean... Yeah, we checked that and there was no option to talk about tadpoles, but... Oh! Oh, she's not a dino anymore. Okay. Shadowheart walks a little freer of the shadows. She could shave her skull and paint it purple. It would still suit her. Yeah, you're right. Okay, there's nothing about that. Okay. If there's nothing about the tadpole, then let's go to someone else, uh, to Carla. Oh yeah, Carla. Carla, where are you? She is right here. Hello, baby. Oh, what is that about? Gods, a mind flayer has been getting their tentacles all over our dreams this whole time. I'm really not sure about putting any trust at all in this thing. It's already shown itself a liar. I've got my eyes on the Emperor. And Karlak doesn't blink. Very good, baby. Okay. But that's it? What just happened here? Go 
gods, Shadowheart looks like a stack of gold. <laughs> Never thought I could get so excited about someone's forehead, but here we are. Yeah, but here we are. We are excited, right? I am excited as well. So, uh... Oh, it's been a while since we connected like we once did. Nice, this is about uh, the hot day trophy, I believe. Yeah, let's uh, let's pick that up. Yeah, I had the same thought. <laughs> so much has happened between then and now. Maybe we just got a little caught up in it all. But I'm not going anywhere. I've got plans for the future, you know, and they involve you. Oh, yes. She's having a plan to arrange a date, I guess, right? Yeah. Then after some, I don't know, or after going to Baldur's Gate or somewhere in a uh, long rest, there will be an option to, to have this date with her. That will be fantastic. Okay, let's... Uh, yeah, I will speak with everyone. Darling. Because I, yeah, I see that everyone can tell something about this tadpole, so... I will do that, I guess, right? Uh, with her as well, so even about the first one? So about our tadpole powers? You really did it, huh? Not worried about adding more lithid into the mix? Well, what can I say? You look fine, smell fine, seem fine. And yet, you're more mind flayer than ever. Hope you don't expect me to follow your lead in this. Oh, I don't know. I, I think I will persuade you <laughs> to, to do that as well. Uh, I was hoping you might. No, it's your choice, but I think the tap will make me stronger. Do they? I'm not sure either of us can say one way or the other. We don't know what the cost might be just yet. Yeah, that's true, right? But we might might be facing a cult more powerful than we know, and we need all the help we can get. So, what do you say about that? Oh my. Whoa, critical success. I cannot believe it. That's insane. Uh, how do you do that? Always making sense when I least want you to. <sighs> Fine. I'll keep an open mind, all right? I can promise that much. Now, are we done here? Uh, no, we are not. Wait, what? Darling? Let's speak about another tadpole. That Emperor has offered uh, a special one, and we will become partial mind flayers, but... We will get uh, great powers in return, so shit. What do you say about that? Ah, <sighs> great powers, huh? I'm skeptical. Thought you'd be too. Especially if this thing wants to turn you into, what, a half squid? Not surprised you haven't tried it yourself yet. Yeah, I'm thinking about it. <laughs> so, yeah, I really think we should do this, Carla. Oh my god, that's crazy. I don't want to pick it up, but let's go. Whoa, only seven. That should be easy. Yeah, and it was. <laughs> You've got to be kidding. You really want me to become a partial illithid? Wasn't a decade in Avernus punishment enough? Yeah, I guess it was, but... Uh, God damn it, that's not over yet. Yeah, if we will finish this and we will win, then we will be free. Like, really, really free. Yeah, let's grab a bonus as well and let's go. Come on. Whoa, nice enough. Oh, I'm that easy to manipulate, am I? <sighs> Where's that bloody worm? Stick it in my eye before I change my mind. No, come on. I will not do it like that. Are you crazy? Oh, that was that was sick. <laughs> Stick into my eye. No, no, no. Maybe later. No, I don't think so even. I don't I don't know. Shit. Oh, uh, let's go with Mintara. Shadowheart looks different. A change of diet, perhaps? 
Not the color of her hairs? What the hell? And the Emperor has offered us a special tadpole. We'll become partial mind flayers, but we'll get great powers in turn. We will need every advantage to survive the battles that are to come. And my illicit parasite has already shown its worth. If this superior tadpole is capable of unlocking my mind's full potential, it is a tempting proposition. I am surprised you have not drawn oh, on Oh, we already yourself. did that. Come on. What the hell? I forgot. As you should. I mean, yeah, I thought she will say something else, but no, she said the same thing. I was concerned when I saw Shadowheart creeping about with a blade in the dead of night. But it was just to cut her hair, it seems. It suits her. Wow, that's crazy, really? She was asking for a blade? <laughs> oh my god. Um, okay, but he have nothing. Alright. So he is really as a bonus character here. He will not even say anything about this tadpole. Like, uh, we, we cannot ask him. Okay, now Gale. There's no more radiant sight than that of someone who's learned to love themselves anew. Shadowed in name, but no longer in spirit. It suits her. Yes, it does. And I wanted to speak about uh, uh, a rare gift. An astral-touched tadpole with the power of grant you a new partial elitid form. What do you think about that? I can only imagine what I could do were I to adopt the biology of a mind flayer. You've not taken this power for yourself. So I can only wonder... Why offer it to me? Well, I don't know. You will wield this power well and with wisdom. There are many I trust with this. Wow, that was lucky. Okay. If this is what the fates have offered to aid our cause, then who am I to refuse? I'll take your tadpole. Let's see what it has to offer. Well, that's crazy. Uh, so, it is like we can persuade them that they will take it or we can take it. So, I guess if somebody will need to take it, then it will be me. <laughs> of course. Oh, we have a new look for a new shadow heart. Nice as it is, she still doesn't have the best hair in the camp. <laughs> I knew it. Yes, you have the best hairs in the camp, Asterion. That's for sure. Okay, but we already speak. Uh, we spoken with him already about this tadpole, and yeah, I was not trying to persuade him because he just he went too much. Uh, that's for sure. And with them, we can speak. Be gone, friend. I have a darling to adore. All right, be gone then. Let's leave her and Isabel. Looking forward to a bit of rest, if I'm honest. It's been a long century. Yes, that's true. All right, I guess that's it. Oh, a berry bush. Wow, let's grab those. Wow, for, oh, in here as well. Shit. Did we have them somewhere over here as well? Because I think I was blind. Oh, yeah. Like that. Oh, man. Seriously? Oh, there's a lot of them. Oh my god, everywhere. Wait, but not inside here, right? I mean, that would be insane. Maybe something else is hidden here? Oh, I don't see it. Thou hast now a bosom companion. Take care that thou art not distracted on thy quest. Seeking the comforts of the flesh. Okay, are you talking about Carla or what? Excuse me? Recall that in time, all becomes dust and bone. Yeah, yeah, that we all die, yeah, right? At the end. So, it's pointless to... To have a... A partner. <laughs> or something. Because we will die. They will die. Everyone will die. Okay, that's... That's nice. Withers, you crazy... 
boy. Um, where else we are having that thing? Those berries. Oh, right here as well. Damn it. Behind Kawa tent. Uh, okay. That's probably everything. Yeah, let's just leave it like it is right now. And let's... Uh, let's... Yeah, quit the camp, right? Let's go uh, to Baldur's Gate. I guess. I don't know. <laughs> we will see. All right, the city awaits. Yes, Act Two, finished. We must find where Gortash and Orin have established themselves and take their Nether Stones. All right, who said that? That was a dream visitor. Wow. Uh, with a little bit different voice, but yeah, still the same person. Nice. Okay. So we are now officially in Act Three of the game. I mean, wow, so freaking late, I would say. Right? Like, Jesus Christ. How many hours, how many episodes already of this game I am having on my channel? And this is just the beginning of Act 3. That is just crazy. Too crazy. I feel some crazy boots. I don't need those. So <laughs> why? Oh, empty. Let's grab that. All right. Some potions. So let's grab that as well. And this one as well with the potion. All right. Yeah, I will pick those backpacks. We can always use them for something um, in our inventory, right? So why not? Well, that looks just beautiful. Uh, let's just save here. All right. Uh, let's see what else we are having here. Oh. That's what was that? Oh, a freaking treasure in highs. Wow, what we are having there. Damn it, this is so big. But this is not Baldur's Gate yet, right? Irresistible dance. Nice. Yes, we will make somebody to dance for us. Whoa, so many people here. Oh, we will finally be able to play on, a, uh, on an instrument for a trophy as well. To get some money for playing. Wow, this is just this is just too big. And finally, finally, it looks like Act One. Green nature, right everywhere. Not the, those shadows, cursed lands. Oh my God, that was crazy. I am so happy that we are not having this anymore. Who's that? Um, excuse me, I can't find my mom. Oh, and shit. What's your name? Or where is your mom? Right? Or what the hell? Yeah, what's your name? Jenna! Uh, my cat is Grub. He's shy. I'm not. My mom is called Emery. She went to go get some herbs for her spots. She was sick and she was supposed to come back the same day. That was last 10 day though. Oh shit. And how can I help you? Jesus Christ. I... Oh, wait. We don't have... I don't know where your mom is, but here, take a few coins. It sounds like your mom is probably dead. Oh shit, no. Uh, let's find the nearest temple and they can help you. Hmm, let's give her five coins. Let's do that. All right. Oh, um, thank you so much. I don't have anything and you can't do anything without any coin. I'll pay you back when I find my mom. No, I... I think you don't have to. Why? Oh, Mintara want to speak with us. About what? I do not understand why the matrons... Sorry, patriarchs... Of the city do not open their gates to the refugees. Yeah, I don't understand either. Like, yeah, they should offer them shelter from the danger that is coming. That's for sure. I was not suggesting they be allowed to roam free. They should be put to work. The city needs laborers and fodder to protect it. Yeah, why not? I mean, of course. But it's only fair that they should earn their keep. Yes, exactly. Yes. And if they work hard enough for long enough, 
The city might allow them to earn their freedom one day. Yes. Wow, that's very nice of you, Mintara, to think like that. I didn't thought that she will <laughs> think like that. But that's cool. That's cool. Yeah. Um, definitely. And oh my god. Seriously, when I am seeing now this. Uh, shit. What's going on? What we can do over here? This looks already so big. And this is not even Baldur's Gate because this is Rivington. So from here we need to go... I guess over there, where this, yeah, big tower is, in the distance, behind those, you know, those houses. So, wow, uh, seriously, this is just too crazy. <laughs> but we are finally here, I mean, wow, right? Wait, those are those gates that Mentara was talking about? Those gates are totally closed and... Uh, that doesn't look good, like, shit. A lot of dead bodies, what the hell? Let's see if we can speak with this soldier here. This guard. Based Osmund. Turn back, citizen. No passage in this direction. Yeah, why not? It's bloodier than a butcher's backyard out there. Piles of dead absolutists, and a few of our own as well. The cultists assaulted the gate, armed to the teeth trying to break in. They nearly had it too, before the steel watch intervened. Wow. That's crazy. Steel watch? Is that some sort of fancy new rank of city watchman or something? <laughs> A little more than that. You'll see for yourself soon enough if you head to the city. Oh, shit. And to the city is this way, I guess. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, I guess I will stop it right here, because I need to just prepare myself for that. I mean, wow, this is just too big. Seriously, look at that place here. What is this? I have no idea. There we have some other people. Oh, my God. Then we are having here some kind of a big building. And here another and more and more and more and even more than that, which is just insane when you look at it. So I cannot wait for that. But we are finally in Act 3 of the game, which is also insane. Like, this game is so big, so huge. They did such a great job creating Baldur's Gate that I cannot wait for another game. Or, yeah, I cannot wait for another game from Larian Studios. They are my favorite studio right now after releasing Baldur's Gate 3. That is just amazing. I love it. And... I am not feeling bored with this game. Not yet. Maybe when I will start second playthrough with Dark Urge, when we will have to do a lot of things uh, the same or very, very similar, but with the new character, with Dark Urge, that should be different. And I hope it will be very different, so I cannot wait for that. But there's still a lot to do until that point. So, yeah, for now, thank you guys so much for staying with me. I hope you liked it and enjoyed it. If you did leave some like, comment, I would appreciate it very much. And if you want to be updated with the content I share every day, then please hit the subscribe button. I will be very grateful. And I will see you very soon in this fantastic world of Baldur's Gate 3.